Welcome back to this video lecture series on data structure and algorithms. So today we'll be discussing about a very popular algorithm called the Tower of Hanoi problem. So let's start with the problem statement of this problem. So Tower of Hanoi is a mathematical puzzle where we have three rods and n number of disks. The objective of the puzzle is to move the entire stack to another rod obeying the following simple the rules are only one disk can be moved at a time each move consists of a taking the upper disk from one of the stacks and placing it on top of another stack that is a disk can only be moved if it is the uppermost disk on a stack and the third rule is no disk may be placed on top of a smaller disk so considering and encountering all these conditions we have a very peculiar and unique strategy to get this job done so in this diagram and with these steps we can actually move this stack from this rod to this and the steps will be like this so at this very first phase all the uh, you know disks are stacked up in rod a our aim is to uh, make it move to rod c and for this process we'll be using this uh, middle rod b rod which is an auxiliary rod in the first step we remove the top of the stack of rod a to rod c then again top of the a will be moved to uh, rod b in next iteration what we'll do as we cannot place uh, a disk on the top of a smaller disk so we'll move the C disk to or the disk at rod C to rod B and then this uh, disk at rod A will be moved to rod C so the base is ready so we just have to uh, make some arrangement and rearrangement with the these two disks so that we can get all of the stack transfer to rod C so for that what we do from this step we take this uh, top of the stack and place it at rod A then the disk at rod B is moved to rod C and lastly the disk at rod A is moved on the top of the stack at rod C so let's now jump onto the programming part and see how we can implement this logic to get the result so here I'll first start with the number of disks so let's say I'm taking three number of disks and here I'm going to declare this function tower of Hanoi inside this I'll pass four arguments the number of disks and the rods the first is the from which rod we need to remove or I guess move the stacks then to which rod we will be moving it and lastly the auxiliary rod so this is the function here and we will be defining it now so the return type is void and here again I'll just take this argument so this will be character type and this will be from rod so or we can just leave it as from then this will be cat type 2 and this will be cat type the auxiliary rod so here we first uh, check for a condition if n is equal to 1 then what we do is we print down a message that disk one is moved from rod percentage C to rod percentage C and new line the values will be from and to return and in here will be calling uh, the function two more times so 
And the first time the recursion call of the Tower of Hanoi function, the eigens will be n minus 1, then from 2, or actually this will be aux, and then 2. And here I'll print down a message that disk percentage D is moved from rod percentage C to percentage C or rod percentage C and new line and here these will be n then from and 2 and lastly I'll make the last recursion call tower of Hanoi n minus 1 on 2 from and uh, this is done so uh, let's just run, run this program so as we can see this is the output and this actually follows all these steps that we mentioned in the uh, slides so if we go back to the slides we can see that it matches here we can see that those outputs uh, matches with this uh, expected outputs now lastly there are some points that we should remember when we are uh, tackling with the tower of hanoi problem if we have n number of disks then total 2 to the power n minus 1 moves are required so for 4 disks the required number of moves are 15 and as we did with 3 so the required number of moves is 2 to the power 3 minus 1 that is 7 and we had exactly 7 lines of outputs and another thing that for n number of disks total 2 to the power n plus 1 minus 1 function calls are made so for 3 disks that we had done a total number of 15 function calls were made so that was the very popular tower of hanoi problem and the program implementation of it thank you for watching this video and staying with us see you next time